Hello everyone! Today I will explain about quadratic equation. Firstly, what is quadratic equation? Quadratic equation are the polynomial equations are degree of t2 in on variable of type ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero, where a, b, c all real numbers, yes, and an a not equals to zero. It is general form of a quadratic equation where a, b, a and b middle term. And C constant term. It's like A, B, C person, and you have like value x square and x. If you develop constantly, you will middle term and a personality like A, B. If you don't develop, you will be just person who live in this life like C. Okay, we have three forms of quadratic equations. First is standard form. It's like y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. There, uh, this is standard form most quadratic equation. And the factored form, this is y equals to a open bracket x minus a1 multiple open bracket x minus a2 do you get it okay vertex form third y equals to a open bracket x minus h close bracket square plus k this is three uh, forms of quadratic equation. Okay, let's continue. If b and c on or both equals to zero, equals to zero, then the equation is an incomplete uh, quadratic equation. It's like that. a x square equals to zero, a x square plus b equals to zero, or a x square plus c equals to zero. Here, a square, uh, ax square equals to zero have only one answer. This is equals x equals to zero. a square plus b equals to zero and uh, a square plus c equals to zero. In this type, we have two answer. Do you get it? Okay. Okay, let's start first form of quadratic equation. This is standard form. Standard forms uh, write like that. ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. This is standard form. Second is factor form, yes? Factor form. Why uh, finding what to multiply to get the quadratic? Why uh, it's called factor form? Because we find the factors, yes? Okay, let's continue. For example, first example, yes, 6x squared minus 2x equals to 0. 6 and 2 have a common factor of 2. Let's write it. 2, open bracket, 3x squared minus x equals to 0. And the x squared and the x we have a uh, common factor of x. Let's write it 2x, 3x minus 1 equals to 0. And uh, we have done it. The factors are 2x and uh, 3x minus 1. We can now also find the factors, uh, these factors roots, where it equals to 0. Yes, 2 is... Um, 0 when x equals to 0, yes, 3x minus 1 is 0 when x, when x equals to 1 over 3. Do you get it? Okay, second example, yes, second example, 
2x square plus 7x plus 3 equals to 0. Find two numbers that multiple to give AC, in other words, A times C. Yes? A times 3. And uh, uh, add to give to give B. AC is A multiple C is 2 multiple 3. Yes? And uh, B is 7. Yes? So we want to uh, we want two numbers that multiple together, in fact, um, together to make 6 and add to up to 7. In fact, 6 and 1. To do that, a uh, 6, 1 multiple 1 equals to 6. And a 6 plus 1 gives us 7. Yes, how do we find... 6 and 1. It helps to list the factors of AC multiple 6, yes? And then try adding some to get B ten, boy, equals to 7. Factors of 6 factors of 6 include 1, 2, 3 and 6. Yes, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, 1 and uh, 6 add to uh, 7 and uh, 1 once multiple 6, uh, six gives to us 6. Rewrite the middle uh, those numbers. Yes. Rewrite. Okay. Rewrite 7x with... Uh, 6x and 1x. It's like that. 2x square plus 7x plus x plus 3 equals to 0. Yes? Factor the first two and the last terms, two terms, separately. Yes? The first two terms, 2x square plus uh, 6x, factor into 2x, x plus 3. Yes? And the last two terms, x plus 3, don't actually change in this case. So we get 2x multiple, open brackets, x plus 3, uh, close bracket, plus open bracket, x plus 3, close bracket. Yes? If we have done this correctly, our two new terms should have a clearly visible common factor. Yes. In this case, we can see that x plus 3 is common to both terms. So we can go start with start with this, yes, which is two x multiple open bracket x plus three plus open bracket x plus three, yes, and so x plus here we have one. But we don't write it in mathematical language, you, uh, you know? Yes, you know it because you are 8th class. Uh, here is, um, and so, 2x plus 1 multiple x plus 3. Yes, this is our factor. This is answer. And uh, let's check it. Yes? Let's check here. 2x plus 1 multiple x plus 3. It gives to us 2x squared plus 6x plus x plus 3. It gives to us 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. Yes, we finished it. Uh, finding those numbers. This is third. This is third example. Let's. I will write it here. Okay. Let's write third uh, example. Finding those numbers. The hardest part is finding uh, two numbers that multiple to give a uh, to give a multiple c and add to give b. It is partly uh, guesswork, 
and it helps to uh, to list out all the factors. Uh, here is another uh, example help to you. Example is a multiple three equals to minus one hundred twenty, and um, b equals to seven. What two numbers multiple to minus one hundred twenty and add to seven? Let's think it. The factors of 120 are plus and minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15, yes, 20, 24, 30, 40, and um, 60 and uh, 120. Yes? We can try pairs of factors, start near the middle and uh, see if they add to 7. Minus 8 multiple 15, it gives us minus 120. And uh, it minus 8 plus 15, it gives us 7. Yes, we find it. Let's write quadratic equation. Here, A. Uh, is minus 8, b 7, c is 15. Yes, let's write it. Minus uh, 8x square plus b7x plus 15. This is answer. We write uh, quadratic equation. Find and find a, b, c. Okay. Let's continue our um, form of quadratic equation. Yes, here is we have we can write vertex form. Is this is last form of quadratic equation, and this is hardest from uh, hardest hard than other forms. While the standard form, quadratic form, is x squared plus bx plus 3 equals to 0, the first form of equation is y equals to a multiple, open bracket, x minus h, close bracket, square, plus k. This is vertex form, yes? In both forms, y is... Uh, y coordinate x is a x coordinate. For example, take a look at this. Yes, y uh, equals to 3 x plus 4 over 3 square minus 2. This is a uh, vertex form of the um, vertex form of this equation. And then um, let's write Examples, let's and uh, solve it. For example, uh, starts with the equation. Yes, I will write here and I will explain it how we can write vertex form from standard form to vertex form. Yes, you're right. E equals to 7x squared. Yes plus 42x minus 3 equals to 14. This is given as, yes? The first thing you will want to do is move the constant. Constant is 3 over 14, yes? Or the term without an x or x squared next to it. In this case, our constant is minus, yes, minus 3 over 14. We know it's negative 3 over 14 because the standard quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c, not ax squared plus bx minus c. First, we'll take that minus 3 over 14 and move it over to the left side. Yes, left side of the equation. Let's write it x plus, y x plus, oi, y plus, no, 
equal plus. Why equal plus? Because this is minus go to the to left side of equation with plus. Yes. Equal plus 3 over 14 equals to 7x squared plus 42x. The next steps into the factor out the 7 eva the a value in the equation from the right side like so e work plus 3 over 14 equals to 7 open bracket x squared plus cx because 7 is factor of this equation great this equation is looking much more like the vertex form the vertex forms is formula e work equals to a x minus h close bracket open bracket like that square plus k at this point you might be thinking oh we need to do that to do now is to move the 3 over 14 back to over the right side of the equation right no not so fast if you take a look at parts of the equation inside of partners parenthesis you will notice a problem it's not in form the form of open bracket x minus h square there are too many x so we are not quite done yet let's take a closer look at the x square plus c 6x part of the equation yes this on in order to factor c x square plus c x into something resemble x plus minus h square yes like this we are going to need to add a constant to the inside of the parts and we're going to need to remember to add the constant to the other side of the equation as well since the equation needs to stay balanced and uh, they calculate that new constant takes the value uh, next to x in this case, 6 in this case, divides it by 2. Yes? 6 divided 2 square. It gives us 3 square and this is 9. The reason uh, we have that 6 and uh, square, it is that we know that in an equation in the form x plus b, x plus p, multiple x plus p. Yes? Which is that we're going to try to get to x plus uh, px plus px equals to 6x. So p is, yes, p is, p is 6 over 2. So get constant p square. Okay. Uh, let's write y plus 3 over 14 plus 7. Yes, will 7 multiple 9 equals to 7x squared plus 6x plus 9. And uh, we will multiple 7 and 9 y plus 3 over 14 plus 63 equals to 7 open bracket x square plus 6x plus 9 yes y plus 3 over 14 plus 80 882 over 14 equals to 7 open bracket x square plus 6x plus 9 and uh, it gives to us y plus 885 over 14 equals to 7 open bracket x square plus 6x plus 9. And uh, we will write it like uh, h minus oh, x minus h square. This bracket. Yes. Y plus 885 over 14 equals to 7 open brackets x minus x plus 3 square and then we are just one step last step y equals to 7 
Mm -hmm. X plus 3 square plus minus 885 over 14. Yes, congratulations. We done it. We find vertex form of this equation. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we can uh, find roots. Not, not roots. We can, and then we can easily find h and k. This is h is minus three. Yes. Minus h equals to three. H, h equals to minus three. K plus k equals to minus eight hundred eighty five equals to fourteen. Mm -hmm. We are finished and um, goodbye. Thank you for your attention and uh, have a good day. Goodbye. Yeah.